Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel, we hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show top 10 amazing all new 2024 adventure and sport touring motorcycles first look review and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it, please don't forget to subscribe for more videos, thanks for watching. The upcoming 2024 KTM 1290 Adventure S and R variants have been spotted testing abroad and the new bikes get some visual changes compared to the current gen model. The major change that is visible is the two vertically stacked LED projector headlamps with DRL surrounding them. This is a departure from the split headlight design seen in the 2023 1290 Adventure and across various other models in the KTM range. Along with the headlight, the windshield has also been revamped. It looks a bit bulkier compared to the one on the 2023 model. Also, one of the bikes can be seen sporting a setup with two windshields stacked together. The smaller one might come as standard and the bigger one stacked on top of it might come as an optional and it might be removable too. All in all, the fascia looks more robotic than before and the radar sensor really sticks out like a sore thumb in the test mules. The price of KTM 1290 Super Adventure S 2024 will be $22,514 expectedly. KTM will be launched its new super and stylish model of motorcycle 1290 Super Adventure S 2024. It will be available in attractive orange black and gray black colors and more. Performance and Engine The 2024 Honda NT1100 is the perfect bike for those looking for a bolder style. Despite not having significant changes compared to the previous model, the new version features two novelties. 102 horsepower. Torque of 2.6 kg FM. In this way, the driver can choose between driving urban and rain modes. That's because the Japanese automaker Honda invested in a new suspension, which has an inverted fork and a single arm rear. However, even having a more robust look, the Honda NT1100 is sophisticated and technological. In addition, it has a 100% digital panel that is touch-sensitive and a 5.0-inch screen. At first, the Japanese automaker will offer two versions of the Honda NT1100. Are they? Manual. DCT transmission. Consumption 2024 Honda NT1100. Currently, every driver, when changing vehicles, is concerned with fuel-related expenses. In this sense, it is interesting to talk about the average consumption of 2024 NT1100. At first, the NT1100 operates at 20 km per liter of fuel. However, it is important to note that this average may vary depending on how the rider drives the motorcycle. Standard Items and Equipment 2024 NT1100 Initially, standard items are responsible for strengthening the performance and safety of any vehicle. Honda is famous for maintaining a classic standard in the colors of its motorcycles. In this sense, the colors red, black and white are always on the motorcycle chart. The 2024 KTM 1390 Super Duke GT's existence has been essentially confirmed by the appearance of the standalone 1390 LC8 engine in several KTM parts lists around the globe. Dealer websites, with parts sections that are probably automatically populated from a central list on official KTM servers, have revealed two distinct part numbers for the new 1390 engine and confirmed they're due to be used in the 1390 Super Duke 2024. The two engines appear to be identical, but one version is listed as engine 1390 Super Duke CN 2024 which suggests it's one that's manufactured in China, presumably at KTM's joint venture factory, established with CF Moto. CF Moto already makes the 790 and 890 parallel twin LC8C engines for use in both KTM and CF Moto machines, and its own 1,379 cubic centimeters version of the LC8 V twin that's used in the China only CF Moto 1250 TRG Tourer. 
The new KTM face with the facelift, the 1390 Super Duke GT will soon shed its front beak, which was previously pulled forward in the form of the typical KTM split face. It seems that it will now have the same face as the 1390 Super Duke R, which consists of two LED projectors placed on top of each other in a plastic frame. Although the front mask on the test mules still looks like a preliminary rapid prototyping version, it is likely to remain the same. Compared to the version mounted on the 1390 Super Duke R in October, there are only minor differences, such as the area around the round LED lights. On the Super Duke R, the cooling fins were visible, but they are more covered up here. Daytime running lights and cornering lights in addition, in November, light was visible from the slots on the left and right sides of the upper lamp on the Super Duke GT. Twenty twenty four Yamaha Tracer nine GT Plus Yamaha Motor USA officially unveiled the twenty twenty four Tracer nine GT Plus for the American market. It's the newest halo bike in Yamaha's sport touring lineup, boasting features including adaptive cruise control, radar link unified brake system, a semi active KYB suspension, a six axis inertial measurement unit AMU, that works with its integrated ride modes, and more. After its big reveal overseas in 2022, we knew it was just a matter of time that Yamaha's technologically enhanced Tracer 9 GT Plus would make its way to our shores, or at least we hoped. Well, it's almost a year later and, sure enough, the bike that has been previously available in Europe is now up for grabs in the US, Yamaha has pulled the covers off the new 2024 Tracer 9 GT Plus, crowned as its new sport touring flagship. That title is due in large part to the raft of updates bestowed on the new model, including an array of rider aids and tech advances like adaptive cruise control and a radar-linked brake system, along with semi-active suspension, integrated riding modes, and new smartphone connectivity. From a consumer standpoint, it makes the Tracer 9 GT Plus the least expensive motorcycle yet to get radar-assisted cruise control and safety systems. Let's talk about the engine first. The 2024 Tracer 9 GT Plus is powered by Yamaha's liquid-cooled, dual-overhead cam, 890 cubic centimeters, cross-plane crankshaft triple, CP3, engine. Bore and stroke are 78.0 mm by 62.1 mm. It has a six-speed gearbox, an assist and slipper clutch, and an up-and-down quickshifter. Three variants of Versus 1000 will be available to European customers in 2024 with standard S and SE models on offer and two new color options available across what amounts to 12 model options. Offering an entry point into the exciting leader class Versus 1000 stable, the standard model of Versus shares many of the attributes of the other two machines in the range including assist and slipper clutch, electronic cruise control, three-mode Kawasaki traction control plus selectable power modes and integrated anti-lock braking. Additionally, like each machine in the range, the standard machine is also available in a number of addition model types from Kawasaki dealers covering Tourer, Tourer Plus, and Grand Tourer making the overall range option an impressive 12 models. A midpoint in the range, the Versus 1000S replaces the analog-style meter of the standard machine with a full-color TFT display that can also be paired via Bluetooth to the rider's smartphone relaying a vast array of information via the Kawasaki Radiology app. As part of an overall specification that includes an IMU enhanced electronics package, the S adopts a dual direction quick shifter plus LED cornering lights and rider selectable integrated riding modes. And from a practical perspective, a large height adjustable windscreen, handguards and grip heaters all feature in the specification. Topping out the three machine range, plus addition variants, is the Versus 1000 SE encompassing all of the advanced electronic, technical and engineering features of the S model adding an extra layer of rider convenience via the adoption of Showa electronically damped suspension. The 2024 Yamaha Tenere 700 has a few thoughtful, useful updates for the new year. These include a new 5-inch color TFT display with two different display options, Bluetooth smartphone connectivity, LED turn signals front and rear, and three ABS modes. 
The bike will be available in Team Yamaha Blue in September 2023 or Shadow Grey in October 2023. MSRP starts at $10,799. Other 2024 returning Yamaha models include the Super Tenera ES, XT250, and TW200. These bikes see no changes in the specification for the new year. New interface, the T7 now features a 5-inch color TFT display on the front, accompanied by a scrolling dial on the right handlebar to control it. Riders can choose between two display options, modern or retro analog style design. Additionally, Bluetooth smartphone connectivity via the Y-Connect app allows riders to receive text and phone call notifications on the dashboard and record ride data for later analysis. LED turn signals, the 2024 Tenerife 700 now comes with LED turn signals both in the front and rear, enhancing visibility and adding a modern touch to the bike. Pre-wiring for Yamaha Quickshifter, the T7 comes pre-wired from the factory to fit the Yamaha Quickshifter, which is an optional accessory available at an additional cost. The Quickshifter allows for smoother and quicker gear shifts without the need for clutch usage. Expanded ABS modes, Yamaha has improved the ABS mode offerings for the 2024 T7. Instead of only having on or off options, riders can now choose from three different modes, Mode 1 for full ABS activation on both front and rear wheels, Mode 2 with ABS activated only for the front wheel, and Mode 3 with ABS turned off completely. Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel, we hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show you top 10 amazing new 2024 adventure and sport touring motorcycles first look review and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it, please don't forget to subscribe for more videos, thanks for watching. The BMW R1300GS will come in at around $20,000. Thanks to the updates, the R1300GS will be pricier than the $17,995 R1250GS, starting from around $20,000. If so, the ADV will slot right between its arch rival, the $27,195 Ducati Multistrada V4 and the $19,595 Triumph Tiger 1200. We also expect it to come in at least three variants, GS, GSA, and an M-Badged model. The BMW R1300GS will debut in September 2023. The crown jewel will be an all-new 1,300 cubic centimeters, twin-cylinder boxer engine. With 46 cubic centimeters more to displace, it'll whip out 143.5 horsepower and 110 pound-feet a sizable 10 HP increment over the outgoing R1250 GS. You should also know Beamer claims a 140 miles per hour top speed, for more than the existing ADV. The bump in performance and capacity is likely thanks to reworked engine internals with a bigger bore or stroke. Credit should also go to its new exhaust system which appears a lot smaller than the bulbous current unit. The price of the new 2024 BMW or 1250 GS is between $21,500 and $24,500. Factors such as shipping and additional items interfere with the value. R1250 does 23.25 km per liter and has technology that reduces both fuel consumption and the emission of pollutants in the air. With the confirmed launch of the R1300 GS later this year, the clock is sure to be ticking for the remaining R1250 models, but for 2024 the R1250R, R1250RS, R1250RT, and R1250 GS Adventure are staying in the range, all gaining the intelligent emergency call as standard. Colors are largely unchanged, except for the R1250GS Adventure Style Rally Scheme, which switches from white-slash-red-slash-blue to racing blue metallic for 2024. There are also changes to the options packages for the R1250R. 
Its premium package gains dynamic engine brake control, gearshift assist pro, and ride modes pro, but loses the earlier version's cruise control and tire pressure monitor. Tire pressure monitoring will still be offered as a standalone option though. New color racing blue metallic, rally light white uni discontinued, all others available. Front wheel cover, tank cover racing blue metallic slash gold wheels. Type air slash liquid cooled four stroke twin cylinder boxer engine, eight valves and BMW shift cam variable timing system. Bore slash stroke 102.5 mm x 76 mm. Twenty twenty four BMW F nine hundred XR BMW is famous for its super stylish and highly efficient bikes. BMW unveiled its new adventure bike F nine hundred XR twenty twenty four, expected to be launched in twenty twenty three. It will be available in three colors racing red, black with black storm metallic, and light white. BMW F900 XR 2024 will be powered by an 895 cubic centimeters engine that develops a power of 99 horsepower and 67 foot-pounds of torque. It will have a fuel tank capacity of 15.5 liters. BMW F900 XR 2024 will be a six-speed gearbox, a slipper clutch, and a final chain drive. ABS, automatic stability control, and rain and road ride modes are standard, as are adjustable brake and clutch hand levers and a 6.5-inch TFT display. The dimension of the F900 XR 2024 is 2160 mm in length, 860 mm in width, and overall height is 1320 mm, and a 1521 mm wheelbase. The curb weight is 219 kilograms. BMW F900 XR 2024 comes with a combined braking system of both wheels and front and rear disc brakes. BMW F900 XR 2024 offers a fully digital instrument console with an eco indicator. After a self balancing gold wing, Honda now plans a supercharged Africa Twin. Currently, the Africa Twin has a massive power deficit against its European rivals. Honda has been on a roll off late. Not with new motorcycles, but with some mind-bending patent filings. One of these revealed a self-balancing tech for the Goldwing, while the other included a never-seen-before jump control electronic aid, the latest instance, however, might be the most interesting, as it shows Honda's plans to supercharge its flagship ADV. The Africa Twin, let's dive in. When you think of superchargers and motorcycles, the mind instantly wanders off to the Kawasaki Ninja H2, it's the only mass-produced supercharged motorcycle you can buy and primarily focuses on peak engine performance, but Honda's plan for the Africa Twin is a tad different, the patents, sourced by trusted Japanese site young machine, show the bike maker has whipped up a twin-screw supercharger, instead of the centrifugal unit on the Kawasaki. Why, you ask? Well, because a twin screw setup runs directly at the engine speed, this not only enables a wide spread of torque rate from the lower end of the revs but also omits a lag since it has a direct drive, this can prove detrimental for an adventure motorcycle like the Africa Twin, especially when you're off-roading and need instant torque to power through obstacles or just slide around, in contrast, the centrifugal supercharger prioritizes high-end power and needs considerably higher revs too. Produce the boost, for instance, the Ninja H2 supercharger works best at a whopping 130,000 RPM. Torque aside, the twin screw setup will also boost horsepower by a decent chunk. And the 101 HP Africa Twin needs it. Her high heels make a damn good statement.